Kia ora Pumai. On today's video, we're going to be using this really nifty Kmart uh, iPad, iDevice, smart device microscope uh, to look at some butterfly wings. And if that seems like your sort of thing, then stick around and I'll see you in the video. So, recently I went to Kmart um, and bought one of these really, really cool little nifty um, smart device microscopes. And it's compatible with all smart devices because it's just got a little spring-loaded clip and it illuminates with the LED light and you're able to look at anything using your smart device as a microscope, which I thought was really, really cool. And so one of the things I wanted to look at today was... Um, the makeup of a butterfly wing because it's really really interesting and so we're gonna look at that right now and I'm gonna teach you a little bit about why butterfly wings are the way that they are. Now you can see here that the butterfly wing is actually made up of a series of scales. Now when you pick up like a moth or a butterfly you get that kind of dust particulate all over your hands and what that is, is the scales. Now the scales serve a multitude of purposes, uh, mostly to do with um, colour. Now you can see here, it's a really good example, you can see the transition from the orange into the black, but there's also those little brown scales as well. And when we come out, of, when we zoom out a little bit, sorry, when we zoom out, those brown scales aren't really as noticeable um, and they just kind of blend in in the color. Now what we know about butterflies now is that some of these scales have an ultraviolet quality that can't be seen by humans, they can only see, be seen by um, basically butterflies and other animals that see within the ultraviolet spectrum which is pretty cool in and of itself. Also that the, the way that um, the scales are put together on a butterfly deter help to determine the color as well so they they flow in one one direction and things like that um, moths scales on their wings are much more uh, loosely distributed so that means that um, that's why when you touch a moth you get all of that dust on your hands and that's actually the scales from their wings now one of the other interesting things I found out was that they also serve a dual purpose of defense. And what I mean by that is if a butterfly was to get trapped in a spider's web, these scales will actually just kind of fall off and allow the butterfly to escape. And that's part of the reason why when a butterfly gets stuck in a, a spider's web, they struggle quite frantically. And that's because they're trying to shake themselves enough that the scales on their wings will peel off. And you can see on this, this is a, um, a dead monarch that was found by one of the students. And you can see that, you know, quite a number of the scales have peeled off. And it doesn't necessarily affect the um, butterfly's flight ability in any way, because we can see that there's like a membrane underneath the scales. Now, one of the other things I found out that was quite interesting is that the scales do help with flight in a, to a certain extent and that they act a little bit like a, a feather <clears throat> and they help generate just a little bit of like I would, I would I suppose you'd call it micro lift because um, as the butterfly flaps its wings a certain amount of air um, gets kind of trapped underneath the scale and the scales kind of do a, like a flapping motion as well on like a microscopic level so that all generates um, lift and helps um, uh, even in a in, even in a minuscule way, it's going to um, ge generate a small amount of lift, which is going to make a butterfly's flight much more efficient. So I thought I'd show you this only because, um, well, you can see here, like all the little black, see those black scales have started to peel off and kind of drift in with the orange ones. You can kind of see that they're out of place because they're not in a uniform direction, like the other scales. Um, but I thought I'd show you this because um, some of the students that have been looking at this through the normal microscope are quite interested and I thought this was a good first activity to use the um, 
smart device microscope with. So I hope you like this. Um, if you want to see some more stuff with the uh, microscope, please let me know in the comments low below. But for now, ka kite anō, and I'll see you next time on Mr. Ashley's Place.